you remember way back at the beginning of the school year, we'll call it, we heard the story of the Good Shepherd. Take a minute and see if you can tell that story. Can, you can tell it to someone or you can tell it to yourself. You can pretend you're telling it to me. Just think about that story for a minute. The story of the Good Shepherd. Do you remember that the shepherd takes care of the sheep and that he knows each of them by name? Remember that? He watches over them. They come to him because they know his voice. He takes good care of them. He knows each one. Might sometimes put them in a sheep pen to watch over them. Maybe if he had to go find another sheep, he might put them in here other things, other reasons he might put them in there. Really. Some of them are in and some of them are on their way in. Now, this is where things are going to get a little bit strange. Table. having a tablecloth. Candles. Recognizing this. Cross. Cup. Chalice. Pattern. When the shepherd is away, there is one sheep that has kind of a special role. I mean, uh, he, he's, he has something important to do. And that is to say the words, so we'll say, this is going to be the sheep who says the words of the Last Supper. This is my body. This is my blood. The other sheep are going to gather around because they want to have some bread and wine, right? Called the priest. He's not the shepherd, but he's the priest and he's a sheep. <laughs> and he has the job of telling us the words of Christ. If you look at this again, does it remind you of anything? At least, does part of it remind you of anything? Part or parts of it? When we go to communion or blessing in the church building, we can think of 
the great love that calls us together. Um, we go because we know and we are called by Jesus who gives all of himself to us in great love, a great feast, the bread and the wine. Sorry, the bread and the wine. This is a sheep feast. This story has another part that we'll hear next time.